Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the Little Big Gamer. Where today I am making a video, a tutorial to make a two player game that I had thought of earlier in Scratch. Scratch is a visual block based programming language targeted for kids around the age of 8. It's very simple, very easy, not even as half as hard as Unity. And let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is delete our cat. I know he's nice and all, but yeet. Okay, so now make our own button, make our own character by hovering over this cat plus going towards paint, click. You can get Scratch Desktop for free and you can get it from the Microsoft Store Scratch. Oh wait, that's how I spell it. Come on, work with me here. Scratch. And just download Scratch Desktop by I'm pretty sure it's MIT or Scratch Education. Give it a second. No, Scratch Foundation. This one. This. And since I already have it, it's what I'm working on. I'm a bit under the weather, so please excuse me if my voice is a bit different. I'm also turning 13, 13 soon. So, first thing, let's make a dude. Like, I'm, I like making dudes. So, first thing you do, uh, like, after you make your new sprite, you'll be sent to this menu. And over here, we have our information panel. Here, you can name the sprite. Let's call him player1, shall we? This is his... Sai, don't wait one sec. Mm -hmm. That's his uh, location because this game, this engine, does everything in um, X and Y coordinates along this 2D map. And you can show or hide, or you can do it by using the, it says code, but blocks. And this is the size and the direction. So these are the three panels. Okay, let's just get informed about what's on my screen right now. That, don't, uh, don't worry about any of these. We'll get to those later. And that's for naming the project. I'm pretty sure. Let's, so let's call it Boom Battle. Yeah. And then this is the game view. So you'll be seeing in the game. That's the green flag for start, red flag for stop, full screen. Uh, that's for different arrangements. This is the stage, the background, basically. And then this is where you have your information by like clicking on each of these boxes. So then let's make ourselves a character. Go into costumes, select the circle, and choose a nice color. I like red, so I'll go with red. And then hold shift and make a well aligned circle. And try to center it because if it's centered, you can turn it around more easily so you can have nice easy turning around. So then click on the brush tool, go to lower the brightness, so you get black, reduce the brush size to something like two, actually two is too small, maybe three, yeah three should be fine. And then start and then no. Control Z for undoing. That's red. It's not what we want, do we? So let's make it like actually four should be easier. And control Z that. Click out. Out. Oh, come on. Work with me here, scratch. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go back here. Reduce the brightness. Reduce that to four. And then draw ourselves some arms. Since scratch is like that, see as you can see, it nicely smoothens everything out. <clears throat> so it saves me from the bad drawing. And now let's give ourselves a gun. You can use that tool for making rectangles and that one for making circles, lines. You can put text for fill, erasing brush, reshape, oh that would be nice, 
you can do that you probably won't understand anything on the screen but trust me it's changing the shape of each object so now that we have our dude let's give him some blocks there are nine different categories of blocks there's motion looks sound events and etc so <coughs> motion has everything to do with the position of the object so you can this deals with the position this deals with what it does and no what it looks like this does with sound this is events like what happens when this happens this is control it lets you control things like if statements wait stopping everything and clones we'll get into that later sensing is stuff like touching if it's checking for touching if it's touching <coughs> sorry it's touching a color and off which is also a nice one which we'll use later and then <coughs> sorry guys give me a minute and operators you can use for math and stuff like if this is greater than or join apples and bananas apparently you can make variables with store values don't worry don't get scared about the long name variables can help you store values easy and this let's not get into that for now shall we so first thing we want to do is set something let's set two point two variables because we are going to be using two players is a two player game guys our first variable name can be player 1 points let's make a second one player 2 points so the, these variables have to do with the player's points so in player 1 events when that is clicked when that's clicked the game starts obviously but then after that we want to set our player 1 points to 0 because in the beginning of the game player 1 will not have any points and we'll also put in a forever loop because anything inside this loop will keep running until the game ends so let's put a few if statements let me just see how many we need 1 2 3 yes we find then let's go into sensing and then we can use these key pressed so if the w key is like we'll have two movement uh, buttons tem button maps w a s d and the arrow keys and space for shooting for the player 1 and the zero on the number pad for the player 2 so let's configure since we're configuring player 1 let's do it with the the w a s and d keys and since we're not going to have a button for moving backwards it is going to be w a and d so let's get this because now we have w a and d wad and now let's go to move it's very simple you just have to understand what i'm doing so now if w key is pressed he can move if the a key is pressed since a is on the left we'll have to make him move like that okay now since we have a on the left we made him turn left and now since we have d on the right we can do for that and then we said to something like 5 so now we have ourselves clear and smooth movement complete with turning uh let's set it up a bit because i made this game recently a version of this and in with my friends we played they said that turning was it had to be nice and crisp so you can easily turn around and shoot the enemy and now we can go into control actually no not control events and then put another event when space key press that's perfect so, but before we move on we have to create another sprite two more actually two more yeah this is going to be very simple choose a color like yellow 
by turning up the brightness if it's like dark turn up the bright i turn up the brightness or if it's or if it's like white the color scheme hey that keeps happening turn saturation up and also take it to something like yellow a nice bright yellow and then uh, we need an outline i can nice something like an outline and then a nice bullet very simple just a yellow rectangle and let's get out our yo okay so since we want to reduce the size we can do it in the size part 80 and now it got short smaller let's make it 75 so if you note if you look really hard you can see that it changes in size so now that we have that when space key is pressed first thing we do is make a new clone a clone of the bullet which is sprite 1 let's quickly rename that bullet so now create a clone of the bullet so now whenever we should fire it should create a clone of the bullet oh we can't see it cuz it's in the same place but okay i yeah, really can't see anything can we so to make sure we can actually see what's happening let's first make sure the bullet is not on the screen when we start the game it hide that's it and then when i start as a clone so basically so i got on to paint to show you what's actually happening so we have ourselves our bullet right so we can't just keep moving the bullet whenever we shoot it right let's say let's assume this is our player like this is our player let me just quickly give him some graphics ha huh. yeah this is our player and then he shoots and then we can't just keep moving the bullet there and there what we do in scratch is we make a copy of the bullet and then when that bullet is gone and we fire again we create another copy and the say the actual copy is hidden so we can't see it so that's basically what we're doing here so when i start as a clone we first actually no 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 we have to make sure there's a waiting when we fire so we don't just keep firing so we have to go and change it to something really low like wait for 0.2 seconds so when this is clicked he should be gone perfect so that's perfectly fine don't panic and then when i start as a clone show and then go to in the motion tab look for go to go to player 1 and then actually from bullet we need to name it player one bullet so let's do that and then we can do point in direction and then remember we can use a uh yeah the off statement we can use this so we can use this to do something like you can get its coordinates easy point in direction in the direction of player 1 so now yeah see now we have bullets and now they aren't moving which is the entire point of a bullet of course so if we do what you would usually think doing something like this wait they move forward and then stop why is that it's because they're not in a loop it has to keep repeating so if we put a forever loop and the move so now as you can see since they move at the same speed it looks really awkward so let's say there is something like 6 so now it's faster so you can clearly see that the bullets are actually traveling 
So now we've done that. We want the bullets to stop when they hit. We want the bullets to stop when they hit the edge of the screen. So if if the bullet clone is touching the edge, then we want to delete that clone. So basically, when it reaches the edge, you can't, you can't see that there. If it reaches the edge, it just disappears. So now we can't, we won't have multiple clones just populating the place. So as you can see, we have working bullets. So, if you have noticed, the gun, the bullet actually appears from the actual guy. If you don't want that, you can do a simple fix. You can, before the, the bullet is shown, you can put a small move statement. Uh, let's just try 6. It's just a matter of testing it now. That was dumb. That didn't work. So, maybe do something like 40. So it looks like it's... Oh, come on. Don't do this. It's not very nice. Oh, oops. That was... Okay, if it, that isn't working, that's normal. Because you're supposed to do that. Yeah, now what I did earlier, so now, as you can see, it, it comes from there. Okay, that seems to be our fix for now. Mm. In my opinion, it looks better if it actually comes. Oh, okay. So let's not have that because this really doesn't look good. I would think this looks better rather than it coming out of like there, there, there or there. So now we are going to have to duplicate these because we have all the main parts of the thing. So let's duplicate it. A player 2 and no, not that. Player 2 bullet. So the player 2 bullets will be different. We want them to be a different color. So this is yellow. It can be blue. That should be fine. And then if this player is, uh, first player is red, this player can be, yep, green. So now we have green player and red player. And they both look the same. Which is now what we want. So since this player we want to be able to move with the arrow keys, let's do that. Up arrow, left arrow, and right arrow. So now we have movement for bo both. We can do it at different intervals. So now instead of space key, we want to be able to, we want them to press the zero key. And then now play one bullet, play two bullet. So that's basically it for the player 2. Let's go to bullet. Don't go to player 2. Go to pl go, go, don't go to player 1. Go to player 2. And then direction of player 2. So now, actually wait, no, that's wrong. My exposition, direction. So now, we have this guy who can also, there is shoot. Why are you not shooting? Can he shoot? He can shoot. Why can't you shoot? Um, turns out the reason he couldn't shoot is because numlock was off. My mistake. But see, now both players shoot their own type of bullet. So the players can differentiate. So next, we want to add the score system. So as usual, set player points to a uh, player 1 points to 1. No, you're player 2. So set player 2 points to 1. So, if uh, let's go into the player. First thing we do. If. Another if statement. So. We go here. Where is the if statement? Okay. So now we have an if statement. So. If. Touching. 
player two bullet because if he touches player two bullet he takes damage but in this he doesn't take damage he takes the player two's points increases so we will also have a weight because if we don't have a weight well i'll just show you what's going to happen if we don't have a weight that will happen six points in a very short period of time so if we have a small weight 0.5 we should be able to fix the problem so now we have that so just duplicate this move that to this player and then go to here and where are you i said duplicate there Ah, there. No? Stay back. Okay, I'll write my own code then. Okay, so I hope uh, both of them can now shoot each other and uh, gain their respective points. <coughs> yes, player one gets his points. That is my lousy aim. I play Fortnite. Why can't I hit this properly? Ah, so now we have the points fixed. Now, that should be the game, except for the fact that we don't have any background. And without a background, the game doesn't look that good. And you can just keep doing that, which is not that bad. Uh, and it, keeps, it seems to be registering properly as well. Okay, but the bullets, as you can see, just keep traveling through, even after they've passed through the enemy. So, we can we can do this a fix the fix is instead of just touching the edge we can use an or operator and instead of touching the edge not just touching the edge we can also be touching oh i i this is player one bullet so you, if you're touching player two don't immediately delete the clone give it a second the same interval time for that and now we should have decent system for what that is supposed to happen so now uh, if player one attacks it still registers as a point but it also qualifies as a hit and it doesn't it disappears on contact and let's do the same for this guy Because it's a player two bullet, it's player one. So now we have that working. Let's go at some range. Um, trying to do this with both hands at the same time. That isn't that good. And we can also do something like when on edge bounce. So they can't just keep hiding. So if I hit. Okay, one of them hit. The other didn't. So which of them is actually going to hit? Come on, why is my aim so lousy? Even when you know, I did this with my friends, my aim was trash. Why can't I hit anything? Oh. Did that hit? Yes. Uh, one sec. Okay, then I seem, I seem unable to be able to actually get that far. But if you understand, that should be enough. So let's go to this background. Just choose the background of your choice. I'm going to make it like a green background. Oh, I forgot you can't do that. You have to make a, a, a big this thing. Cover the entire a big uh, covering. Cover the entire place. Make it something other than the same color of your player. So you don't have them camouflaging. Uh, that should be good. Now they're on the sea. With, hmm, let's think. Come with the sea. The sea isn't that good. Let's make it the the surface of Mars, maybe. Let's do that. Oh, come on, dude. Uncool. Let's make you. Uh, purple. Yes. 
yeah fixed it and a bullet is blue so oh wait they're hidden we can't see them can we so now let's just hope oh yeah they spawn wherever they are so stop that from happening let's have them spawn in a certain place when they start we will go to a random position okay i have to admit that isn't my best but still if you understand what i mean they will both go to a random position that is hopefully not right where they are and oh forget about that that never happened so now one of them spawn there it will take you some time to figure out where you are but once you have you can have some combat if you know how to play properly and like me i just spam the buttons so now let's give it some more flavor so let's get some darker color let's make it a bit more and then let's make it like that so it can be like a bit Okay, that's not good, but you can make like a cratery thing with a big, big color. Yeah, like that. Maybe make a pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like spotty. The island of spots, I feel like I will call this. It's level one. You get 2,000 points. You go to the next level, which is not what I've done, but I'll try to work on it in the next one. So... I let's see what else we can do. Okay, I have with me a volunteer who will help me play and test. So now we should be we should be ready. And hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God, he actually hit me. Oh, oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. This game is uh, not very hard, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can be very hard. In in my uh, in my friends little my little friends group oh he's he's running oh I hit you you can't run from me forever see if you shoot a person they stop for a second so it's really hard to like escape if you get hit like see you can just do a stream of bullets if you're lucky and if you, if you get them once they're lasered yeah see see uh, oh no oh no oh oh god oh they got me really uh, he got me really well come on come on come on come on come on here yeah 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 okay run 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 he's trapped inside it's my chance run run no I did this in my uh, with my friends, and uh, some of my friends are not really that good at gaming. So, oh, that was nice. So you can get some really nice shots if you're lucky. So you can like, stay back, or you can hold the button. Okay, no, I made I made sure you couldn't hold the ball. Oh, okay, that was lucky. So at uh, I am green player two, and my volunteer who I know very well is uh, player one. Yeah. Oh no run because if they hit you once you oh no uh, oh Gah. whoa this is dangerous ah yes get it move only if you move you can catch me laser <coughs> this is hard but oh oh i got hit oh okay okay run oh god that was close run oh you hit me this is hard okay um oh yeah oh no run we'll give each other uh, one more one or two more minutes till the time hits 9:47 oh god no i'm getting laser not like this not today whoa <laughs> run around oh no he's the, he, he's the turning around and shooting Okay. Oh, oh no, he hit me. Okay, run, run, run. I got to get at least 50. Okay, we have one more minute on the clock. Oh, oh uh, God, this is not good. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 no, 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 this is not good, this is not good. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, 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 God, no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. Okay. I will give my score up all so you can catch up. Oh, 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 what luck, what skill, oh no, 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 come on, come on, come on, no, 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 not like this, not like this, okay, what runs on the run, dun, 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 okay, I'll just stay back, and I'll start fighting from back, 
Crap, 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 crap. Oh! Whoa, whoa, the aim is really hard. Oh no! Ugh! You can't catch me if I keep moving. Come on, run, run. Okay, no, get out, get out, get out of the way. Okay, then, we have a t uh, 15 second countdown. T 15. Let's just have a 1, shall we? Okay, let's keep running. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop, stop, stop. Stop fair. Now the game has ended. <coughs> I... Player 2 have won with 71 and player 1 only has 58. Um, player 2 wins by uh, 13, 13 points. So, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys. Oh, oh, that's not what I meant to type. The name of the game is Boom. Battle two player. Uh two player. So in the next video we'll explore some of the other games that you can make. One of them I'm gonna make a racing game to show you guys in the next video. So to save your thing or to change the language, if you press the globe icon, you can change the language. I like keeping it in English because I speak English. You can save load or make a brand new so let's save it as boom battle in my scratch projects doc in my documents folder now we've saved it uh that's not what we want we can press scratch oh wait no that's about scratch so if you want to upload your games like i like doing close it close scratch actually first make sure you saved it like override it one more time to make sure you're absolutely sure that you selected it and then you close scratch and then you go to your browser you can use something like google chrome or brave or any of the other browsers you can use like safari or um opera Op opera sorry so what you do is just type scratch and make sure you go to this link scratch.mit.edu and then sign into your account. You can make your account uh, by like joining Scratch. Make sure you have an adult around while you do this. And do not reveal your password to anyone other than your parents. Especially not your friends. So now, after you have gotten into Scratch, the website, you can search for things like, not for that, like example, you can you, you can like look at random projects such as this and the cool thing is it's not only the fact that you can play it you can also see what's inside this game and guys can you believe this my game is so small compared to this look how many variables they have they have stuff like climbing and gutter what gutter whatever so let's not get distracted here so the thing is if you want to upload a video not a video sorry i'm too busy trying to upload my videos on youtube and get views but you have to click create i know what this says it'll be fine and then file and load from your computer and then where your computer is where the the download or the scratch file is you go by some scratch projects boom battle open and okay so now we have boom battle here all our stuff don't worry everything's right here oh this time the player and all just make sure to see if everything's working check if the player points are working there they could be a glitch but they probably isn't so just check whether it's working and it seems to be working so stop the game let's see we look at the look, we can respawn in random positions each time so let's start by hitting share and then that's the name of the game tell people how to play to move 
player one arrow keys for player two and please do not uh, waste too much time on this Z uh, let's do space and zero to fire for p1 and p2 respectively and write something nice like have fun don't write that have fun and notes and credits easy okay then and then first thing you do and now we've shared it now anyone if they have this link like if you just have that link you can email it to your friends if you have that link you can you, you open a boom battle and you can have fun and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching the video uh please like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to find out about new releases from the little big gamer thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next video goodbye